Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So I've been talking a lot recently about this idea of what I term uh, format agnostic content, or this idea that basically we are moving very quickly towards an era in which your average consumer of content, whether somebody's consuming content for pleasure or for uh, content marketing, they're trying to find a solution to a problem, that they're going to be expecting that content to be available across different formats. And the three kind of classic formats I've been talking about and writing about text, audio and video. So if you think about that from a content marketing perspective, let's just take a classic acid in each. Well, let's look at a blog post being text. Let's look at a podcast as being an audio format. And let's talk about a YouTube vlog, something like this, me sitting in front of a camera um, and delivering a business message as a video based format. And uh, my contention is that right now we're seeing this great technology coming to market for going between those three different formats. If you write a blog post, you can use text to speech to quickly generate a podcast, or you can do that manually by sitting down to record a podcast. And if you've got an audio version, you can pair that up with stock imagery, or you can read out a script and make that into a video and vice versa. And the best practice at the moment is to make all that easy. So if you're, if you're writing a blog, embed your podcast, embed your video. And if you're doing a video, then go back down and bring out an audio version, bring out a podcast version of that video and bring out a text-based version of that video. Now I've talked in my uh, blog post that the key thing is what I call honoring the format. You don't just want to, it's very easy to simply strip audio out of video and boom, you've got a podcast. That's not what I recommend doing. I recommend putting a little bit of time and effort into editing at each layer you go down to. Now, just to make this a bit more concrete, I want to just give a demo of a very, very quick way or that you could begin to develop a blog post from a vlog. So uh, vlog, me speaking to a webcam and I'd say, oh, that was interesting. Maybe we should put out a blog about that. So here's just kind of a workflow that I would suggest or advise people to consider. So very quickly, this is a uh, rather geeky uh, video I just put out on YouTube, uh, just about something to do with computer networking, backup, internet, uh, etc. Now, let's say that I wanted to do a, um, get a blog or convert this into a blog, make a blog based on this. So if you click into the subtitles tab, very, very soon after you upload to YouTube, YouTube is going to automatically generate uh, subtitles for you. So I can go down here and click on download and they're automatically published. I didn't actually publish them. And I'm gonna download these as an SRT file. Now, depending on what operating system you use, you're going to want to uh, run these into a subtitle editing program. Now it might work if I just click on this file. Um, I might already associate. Indeed it does with Aegisub. Um, so here's something I can do now. This is a Linux program. So if you're on a different, if you're on Windows, you're going to be using a slightly different program, but this is, uh, YouTube having pulled out, um, an automatic transcript based on what I just talked about this networking topic. So what you can do in this program and a lot of subtitle editors have this functionality is export your subtitles. And this is going to get you to text. And once you're at text, you, put, you can begin the process of formatting that as a blog. So I've just jumped ahead a little bit. So I've gone to my desktop and I can call it my video about cellular, cellular uh, backup. And I'm gonna give it a text file name. And now if I open up that text file, you can see I don't have those timestamps anymore. This is just like a raw 188 lines of text that YouTube has automatically converted um, automatic transcription. It's taken the soundtrack from that video and has converted that to text. So now I can go into something like, just change up the tool here. Let's open up a word processor, uh, LibreOffice, and I can just dump that in and uh, I can begin to write a blog post here. So this was about, uh, you know, 4G routers, what you mightn't know before purchasing. 
Uh, I'm just going to give an example. Now, this is very, very rough. The text is very rough, but you, it's still going to be easier to develop a blog post out of this than it would be uh, if you were just trying to start something from scratch. So that's just a quick example I wanted to give of a method you could use if you want to, if you do a blog off the cuff and you say, oh, you know what? That was actually quite good. That could be, there's material here for a blog post. Now, the, the hard way to do that would be to, you know, watch your video, maybe watch it in slow motion, take notes and uh, start to write a blog. Or you could leverage something like this get a transcript you can get a better transcript than that you can you can you don't have to use youtube's auto generated transcript you can run that video through rev whatever you want to do start with the computer generated ai transcript extract down to the text layer and once you're at the text layer you can begin formatting that into blog post format and what i didn't show is that you could also download that mp4 file from the back end of youtube download that convert that to mp3 start editing it and then once you're done, you have a blog post, you have a podcast version. So that's what I'm talking about. Uh, format agnostic content is taking, starting from one format, whether that's video or text and either working up or working down, honoring each format that you edit in. And once you do that and you publish through your blog, through your podcast, through your YouTube channel, you're going to each time be widening your distribution options and getting more eyes, ears on your content because you're making it easy for people to consume what you have to say in the format that's most convenient to them. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to get more videos from me, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.